morning and happy Valentine's Day. Welcome to FTV News. I'm Carl Santos along with the rest of the FTV crew. Today is Wednesday, February 14th. If you are not happy with the new version of Snapchat, David has some news you want to hear. Did you like the old version of Snapchat? Many seem to hate the new Snapchat. Here's how you can go back to the old version. You can see here now on the screen, Snapchat recently released a redesign that hasn't exactly been a hit to the audience. If you offer the upgrade, you're stuck with the new version until the developers come out with a new version. But here's something new. The good folks at Mashable have found a new way to go back to the old version, but it might be a little bit complex. If you force quit out of the app and then reopen it, you'll be greeted by the new version of the app. Although, if you avoid closing the app, you could potentially stay using the old version for a significant period of time. But it may be difficult not to accidentally force close it. Snapchat also warns of the danger of losing your memories if you reinstall Snapchat, so it recommends backing them up if you're doing this step. You can also go to Twitter, where users Claire James posted the same steps. Thank you, Dave. Dave. Good to know. Good to know. Don't forget, the school store is having our raffle tickets are free. Just fill out one ticket each day. The drawing is the this Thursday. Let's head over now to our spotlight from Black History. And the 1968 Olympic Black Power Salute was a political demonstration conducted by African American athletes Tommy Smith and John Carlos at the 1968 Summer Olympics in Mexico City. After having won a gold medal and bronze medals, respectively, in the 200 meter dash, they turned on the podium to face their flag and hear to the American national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Each athlete raised a black glove fist and kept them raised until the anthem had finished. In addition, Smith, Carlos, and Australian silver medalist Peter Norman all wore human rights badges on their jackets. In his autobiography, Silent Gesture, Smith stated that the gesture was just not a black power movement, but a salute to human rights. The event is regarded as the most overtly political statements in the history of modern Olympic Games. Seniors involved in the ACC Jumpstart program. Don't forget today starts ACCC Jumpstart testing. Students should have received a pass in homeroom yesterday. If you are scheduled to take AccuPlacer today or tomorrow, don't forget to go to the assigned testing room 218 or 220 after homeroom. Do not get a pass or you are not sure when you are scheduled to test. Report to room 218 after homeroom today. Now we head over to Miles to talk about folks in need. The holidays have passed, but for the community of the Food Bank of New Jersey Southern Branch, the start of the new year is particularly, particularly a challenging time. Food bank shelves are emptying rapidly, and we need to continue to stock them with items from our pantry, clients, and the hundreds of agencies we serve. Hunger does not take a holiday. We welcome businesses, groups, and individuals to run and fund food drives. And due to the purchasing power, we welcome cash gifts to help us buy food. For every dollar the bank receives, it's able to provide eight dollars worth of food to feed hungry families. Giving is always good, and today many will be giving Valentine's Day gifts and cards. And from all of here, from all of us here at FTV, have a great day and happy Valentine's Day. Have a great Valentine's Day. Great. And be sure to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Yeah, good. Good job, John. The car road.